today's antiphon, O Adonai, calls on the Messiah by the name which was used in the Hebrew scriptures and means Lord, Adonai, Lord. As you know, in Judaism, the sacred name cannot be uttered. So the letters YHVH, known as the Tetragrammon, were written and Adonai was written underneath them to remind people who were going to read aloud to use it instead of the very sacred name, which could not be uttered. Adonai, as the Lord, appeared to Moses. Let me move Moses in for you to see better. Appeared to Moses... as a the famous burning bush. But here it says, in igne flamai ruby, the red, that's important, the red flames of fire. Now this fire, this red fire of the Lord, obviously doesn't destroy. It is just there to make you more and more aware of what he's saying. So, Adonai, oh Adonai, a Dux Domus Israel, not only was he Lord, but he was also the leader of Israel, who to Moses, Moise, in igne flamai ruby, in the fire, red fire, ruby, igne, red fire and flames, did appear. It a in Sinai legend in East. You remember that he gave the Ten Commandments to Moses after they had left Egypt in the desert of Sinai. Then the traditional break, Veni, come, invocation, not come on, not come, but do come to redeem us. And have your brachio extenso. There is the brachio extenso. The, leading on that comes extended out towards Moses and it's not an arm of command but it's an arm of persuasion. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say but I'm going to say it in a minute. Um, yes, think of all that I have said and think of the picture you have been looking at as we listen to Dr. Notla Cambiata and the Choir of Christ Church. <laughs> 